Imran Khan's PTI has demanded that former Pakistani Chief of Army Staff General Retired Kamar Javed Bajwa, who conspired to overthrow PTI's government, be tried for violating the constitution. Barrister Gaur Khan, the party's interim chairman, said the chief conspirator to overthrow the government was General Bajwa, according to the infamous cipher, and he should be tried for overthrowing an elected government. Imran Khan, then Prime Minister, whose government was overthrown, is currently spending his 212th day of solitary confinement was sentenced to 10 years in jail in the cipher case. In violation of Pakistan's constitution, the Bias Selection Commission has refused to allot PTI its shares of reserve seats. It has denied women and minorities representation on 77 seats in the National Assembly of Pakistan as well as the provincial assemblies combined. Texas Democratic Congressman Greg Kassar, who authored a letter signed by 31 other lawmakers urging the State Department not to recognize the new Pakistani government until an investigation is done, is said he is hopeful for a response this week from the Biden administration. Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehreek Saf held its intra-party elections on Sunday after the Supreme Court and the Election Commission raised frivolous objections when PTI previously held elections in December. Barrister Ghor Ali Khan was once again elected to the chairman's slot along with Umar Ayub who is once again the Secretary General of the party. Dr. Yasmin Rashid, Ali Amin Gandapur and Halim Adil Sheikh will be the presidents of the parties Punjab, Khabur Pakhtunkhwa and Sindh chapters respectively. PTI is Pakistan's only federal democratic party. Leading Western brands are reeling from boycotts because of their silence and perceived support for Israel's war on Gaza. Starbucks sales in Malaysia are down over 50% compared to the same time last year. McDonald's, another popular Western brand, has also reported losses in the Muslim country. Across Masqat, Oman, in shops and petrol stations, there is a notable absence of iconic US brands. Brands such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi are coupled with the stocking of non-Western alternative drinks and snacks as evidence of a significant shift in the Omani market since the start of the Gaza war. In many stores, Pepsi and Coke have been replaced by Kinza, a soft drink produced by Saudi food producer Al Jamil International, according to the Middle East Eye. The impact is because Israeli airstrikes have since October killed more than 30,000 in the densely populated Palestinian enclave, a large majority of women and children. More than 70,000 have been injured, while thousands of others remain missing under the rubble.